Hydrogen, the most abundant element not only on Earth but in the universe. Hydrogen comprises 92% of the universe and almost 80% of Earth's atmosphere. Hydrogen contains only one proton and one electron and has the simplest atomic structure of all elements. Hydrogen gas is 14 times lighter than air. Hydrogen has a high energy content and has two times the energy density as traditional gasoline. An engine that burns pure hydrogen produces almost no pollution. The only byproducts are pure water and heat. Have you ever wondered how huge space shuttles generate enough force to overcome gravity and maintain the 17,000 miles per hour necessary to remain in orbit? The answer is hydrogen. Since the 1970s, NASA has used liquid hydrogen to propel shuttles into space. Once in orbit, hydrogen fuel cells power the shuttle's electrical and life support systems and the crew drinks the pure water that is produced from the hydrogen fuel cells. So how do we separate pure hydrogen from the atmosphere? Wind, coal, biomass, natural gas, nuclear, and other renewables can all be used to separate hydrogen. The typical fossil fuel power plant is approximately 35% energy efficient. However, hydrogen conversion to the same amount of electricity is 60% efficient. So what is a hydrogen fuel cell? Oxygen enters through the cathode. Once past the cathode, it combines with hydrogen ions and is passed through the anode where it is separated into pure oxygen and hydrogen. Through this process, energy is released which can be harnessed into power. Is hydrogen the fuel source of the future? Hydrogen has the potential to revolutionize the way we travel. Traditional gas combustion engines are approximately 20% efficient. Hydrogen fuel cells are closer to 50% efficient and provide significantly quieter energy conversion. During his State of the Union address in 2003, President Bush announced a program called the Hydrogen Fuel Initiative, or HFI. This initiative aims to develop hydrogen fuel cells and infrastructure technologies to make them more cost effective and widely available by the year 2020. We already know hydrogen is readily available and every country in the world has access to hydrogen. So why haven't we switched to hydrogen fuel cells for transportation? Well, for starters, given today's technology, it is costly to separate pure hydrogen from water or air. Our infrastructure is also not set up for hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Also, the fuel cells are currently too big and the technology has simply not caught up yet. Car companies are researching and testing hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. The 2016 Hyundai Tucson and Toyota's concept car, the Mirai, are both proactive steps towards large-scale implementation of hydrogen fuel vehicles, or HFVs. Ultimately, the triple bottom line must be considered, and the trade-offs between the social, economic, and environmental impacts on society must be advantageous in order for fuel cells to become the transportation fuel of the future.